just going to record that. Um, so tonight I thought we'd go through um, some mobility to warm up since I'm sure most of you either just got home from work or you've been sitting. Um, so we're going to do some stretches for that. We're going to do core. We're going to do seven way hips and then we'll kind of see where we are with time. Um, I thought we could make this about 30 minutes. It doesn't need to be any longer than that. The, the point of you know, strength and mobility is for you to see that you could even segment the 30 minutes out into five or 10 minute chunks. And if you spread that over the course of a week, it's so beneficial to every runner. So, um, so let's get started. We're going to start down on our back. Um, if you have a yoga mat, carpet, we do you. Hopefully you can see me. Okay. Let's see. And we're going to do just glute bridges. So we're going to do 10 reps of glute bridges. So feet down on the ground, back down on the ground. There you go. And then you're gonna lift your hips up, engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. Hold for one, two, and release. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our last one will hold up and release. Good job. The second exercise we're going to do is dead bug. So we're going to be on our back. Um, and knees in a 90 degree angle and arms overhead and you're going to drop opposite arm to opposite leg down to the ground. So I'm dropping my right arm and left leg and bring it back up, release just like if you were a dead bug. And we're going to do <laughs> 10 on each side. Just two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, we have two more on each side. And one more. I feel like we need music or something. It's really quiet. <laughs> okay. And then our last exercise, and we're going to repeat this one more time. We're going to do um, 10 light air squats. So a lot of us know this from Wednesday night practice. Um, so we're going to do 10 air squats. So standing up. Feet hip width distance apart. And then we're just gonna squat down and up. You wanna engage your glutes, engage your core. There we go. Does anyone know how I can get light music playing in the background? Four, five, we have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. Great. Okay. Now we're going to do that sequence one more time. So we're going to start with 10 glute bridges. If you have a resistance band with you tonight, feel free to add the resistance band on. I have, you can choose any like type. I have heavy and I have, we're gonna go black, let's see. Extra heavy, okay. So if you have a band, feel free to put it all around your knees. And then we're gonna go down and do 10 more loop bridges. So we're going up and holding down. We have two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and two more, nine, and ten. Great job, everyone. All right, now we have dead bugs. All right, let's do some dead bugs. All right, we have 10 on each side, so a, 20, a total of 20. So I'm releasing my right arm and left leg first. And that's one set. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Great job. All right, now we're going to do 10 air squats and then we're going to transition to core. Woo Let's go. All right. So we're going down for 10, 9, 8. Seven, you want to keep your chest high, engage your glutes, engage your core. I'm using my arms for a little bit of momentum. We have four, three, really sit your glutes back. Three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. We have Dina rocking the Elevate tank. Thanks, Dina. Perfect. Or it's pink. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus points. That's great. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get the core. Um, you know it. You love it. If you haven't been through my core, I think it's great. I don't know if Jill would agree, but okay. So we're going to lay down on our back, and we're just going to crunch up for 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we're going to cross over. So alternating elbow to knee. So left elbow to right knee and cross over. And then right elbow to left knee, cross over. And we have 10 more on each side. We have eight, seven, six. You can go as fast or as slow as you want to. You can use both to your advantage with three. Two, one, great job. We're gonna work on our obliques. So turning your knees over to the right, keeping your upper body um, facing the ceiling. So pretty straightforward. And you're just gonna crunch up for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. And then we're gonna switch sides. So knees over to the left and then we're gonna crunch up. You should feel this in the oblique. The right oblique, we have seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Awesome. Everyone's favorites coming up next. We have leg lifts, the legs up to the ceiling. Ooh, you might be a little tight and that's okay. Your hamstrings are a little tight and we're going to slow our countdown to four, three, two, one. Heels should be hovering an inch or two above the ground and we're lifting for four, three, two, one. We have seven left. You guys got this. We have six or four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. You can also put your hands underneath your glutes to help support your lower back. I'm doing that. It's totally fine. What we're doing is a slow and controlled movement. I think we have four left. <laughs> when I talk, I lose count. And we have three, two. Okay, everyone, last one. You guys got this. And girls, gals, everyone. And up. Awesome work. Woo. Awesome. Okay. We're going to go back on uh, laying on our backs and we are taking our right ankle over our left knee and we're just going to crunch over. So very similar to another move earlier on, but we're just going to crunch over for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to switch sides. So I'm placing my left ankle over my right knee, taking my right elbow over to my left knee for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now we're going to sit up and we are going to do side twists. We're going to do 12 on each side for um, 24 total. So you can also, you can keep your feet on the ground. You can have them up in the air like this if you want to. We're just gonna go side to side. 12, 11, if you have a weight, you can use that. 10, nine, eight, slow and controlled. Seven, six, really engage your core. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> so core moves can be done primarily, you know, at a slower pace, like how I was counting, you can do them a little bit faster, but what's nice about taking them a little bit slower, you can actually contract your muscles in your stomach and really get more benefit out of it. So invitation to work on that. If you find yourself speeding through and doing more than the number of reps that we're doing tonight. Um, and try it out. Maybe you'll like it better. Um, all right. Everyone's favorite. Plank. We're going down for a plank. 60 seconds. You want to place your forearms down on the ground. Engage your core, but don't arch your, um, your back or stick your glutes up in the air. And I'm going to time us. All right. And we're going to go 60 seconds. We got this. If you need to take a break, you totally can by placing your knees down on the ground just for a few seconds and then bringing them back. We can do anything. We can do hard things. 
We've all been in situations where we've had to do hard things. And we've been able to push through it. We are 30 seconds in. We have 30 seconds to go. You guys got this? Twenty seconds. Engage that core. Twelve. Ten. Hold on. Eight. Just like you're at the end of a race, pushing through. You're not going to give up now. Three, two, one. Great job. All right. Now we're going to do a side plank. All right, so on whatever side you wanna lay on, yep, perfect. And you're going to pop up. So you're gonna um, just place your forearm down on the ground and you wanna be in a straight line, so pop up. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds on each side. Clock has started. We're 10 seconds in. Lift your hips up a little bit higher and place your opposite arm up in the air. We're at 25 seconds. We have 20 seconds left. Let's thread the needle. So coming down and through with your arm and back up. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, great job, everyone. And let's switch sides. And everyone ready? Clock has started. Oh my gosh, I'm scrolling. You guys look great. And gals, why do I keep saying guys? Everyone looks great. <laughs> okay, we're 25 seconds in. Opposite arm up in the sky. And we're going to thread the needle through. We have 12 seconds. We can do hard things. We got this. Awesome. Great job, everyone. So good. Before we transition to seven way hips, I'd love to do um, clamshells with everyone. Yes. So if you have a band, uh, place the band around, um, around your knees so at the very top. And we're going to go back into a position very similar to what we were just in. So we're going to be laying on our side. I have my right side down on the ground. And you can do this a few different ways. I'm gonna have my upper body just laying down on the mat and you can just like a clamshell, lift your top leg up and hold for two seconds and down. We're gonna do eight on each side. If you'd like to up level this, feel free to go back into that plank and do these clamshells in a set plank. We have three, go, four, five, you should feel this in your glutes, maybe your head, six, seven, we have one more, eight. Great job, everyone, switch sides. This is uh, warming up the hip. Where are we going? Seven way hips. I know Joe's excited. Tracy. Matt, who else? Who else has done these with me? Jason. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side and we have eight. Seven. You wanna hold and pause at the top? Six. And come back down. So up. Pause and down. We have five left. 
four, three, two, one. Great job, everyone. All right, who's ready for seven way hips? Yeah, Jason, Jason's ready. I'm scrolling, I don't see a lot of happy faces. I'm so sorry, okay. So seven way hips is so good. And we're not laying in goose poop at Wash Park. We have a yoga mat, so that's a win. Um, make sure you have enough space. And when I'm talking to you, I'm also talking to myself. Okay, so we're gonna lay on one side and we're gonna take, take our top leg and uh, move it in a forward motion in front of us and then come back to the midline. And we're gonna do for, we're gonna do 10 reps today of everything. So that's three, four, you wanna keep your foot pretty level, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, a great job. And now we're gonna do the opposite. So basically taking your leg and your foot behind you and coming back to the midline for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. And now we're going to go all the way to the front with our foot and our leg to the back for 10. So we're crossing the front midline to the back and repeat. So we're at three, four. There's also a YouTube video demonstrating this. I think everyone has access to it. So you probably know what I'm talking about, but if you don't. Seven, eight, nine, 10. You could really be eating popcorn while doing this too. Okay, then we're gonna take our leg straight up in the air for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to take our foot and make micro circles for 10, nine, it doesn't matter what direction, eight, seven, because we're going to switch, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then switch directions for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drive your knee up and down. So up to your chest and then down. This is a great exercise, not only to strengthen your hip, but to really practice that knee engagement and that knee drive that we all need and love when we run fast and run hard and race. We have four left, three, two, one. And we're gonna do one more for extra credit because it doesn't hurt, right? Okay, let's switch sides. I think Tracy says the second side is always tough. Feels tougher than the first side, right? Okay, so we're gonna repeat exactly the same thing that we just did on the other side and that should take us right to about 6.30. All right, let's start. We're gonna do front line. So leg and toe from midline to front. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going midline to behind and back. So we have 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to go all the way to the front and back for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one, and then our leg straight up in the air for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, nice, slow and controlled, two, don't throw your leg up in the air, one, here we go, <laughs> I mean, you do you, but more benefit if it's slow and controlled, okay, tiny circles, any direction, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to drive the knee for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We have a 30 second plank and then we are done. That's right. 30 second plank down on your forearms. And we're going to do hip dips with them. So get in plank position, please. And okay, we're up. And we're dipping our hips to the right, squaring them off center and to the left. We're 10 seconds in, everyone. Looking good. Who's got this? We have 10 seconds left. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Yeah. So great.